Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I want to give you an overview of one of the essential tools for those that are loading precision rifle ammo. That is a ball micrometer. A ball micrometer is typically used for two primary purposes. The first is to get an overall reading on your case neck thickness, the thickness at the mouth of a bottleneck rifle case. This is an important consideration if you're using things like bushing type sizing dies because you want to have the perfect press fit for the bullet. You want about two thousandths of an inch interference fit between the case mouth and the bullet, which is going to enable you to optimize pressures when the cartridge is being fired and have more consistent pressures as well. Super critical aspect of precision rifle reloading. I've shown tools like the Redding case neck uniformity tool, and that's the other purpose that uh, you'll have for the ball micrometer, is to check the consistency of case neck thickness all the way around the case mouth. This is important because if you have consistent case neck thickness, you're going to have your bullet perfectly centered in the bore as it engages the rifling, and it's going to spin perfectly straight, which translates to more precision. So what I want to show you in the video specifically is the RCBS Vernier Ball Micrometer number 87324. This is a great tool. Uh, RCBS has this great product. It's available at a reasonable price and it works really well. I'm going to show you that next. So let's take a quick look inside the box and see what you get with this setup. So it's in a, it's in a nice plastic case. I like that because I can take it with me if I need to. Got the tool that's used to set the zero so that you can calibrate your zero. That's uh, definitely super important. And there we go. Looks like a nice tool. I've got the, the ratchet thimble, which is great. You can see that it's zeroed out. Nice. So it's a good place to start from. We've also got a lock here so that we can lock it in a particular uh, there we go. I had to tighten it just uh, just a little bit more. It's also got this plastic insulating cover over the body, which is nice because that's going to transfer less heat from our hands to the unit itself, which means it's going to influence the readings that much less. Now, if we really want to go to town with this, we can mount this in a micrometer base stand, which I just happen to have. Check this out. I got this old industrial, super solid, solid iron micrometer base off of eBay for, I don't know, it was about $20, I want to say. And so what we can do is just clamp this baby in there. And now we don't even have to worry about handling it. We don't have to worry about the, the issue I just mentioned, which is the heat of our hands transferring to the tool. Very nice. So to show this tool in action, I have a few pieces of, of brass here. 223, 243 Winchester and 308 Winchester. So we've got a 22 cal case neck, we've got a six millimeter case neck, and we've got a 30 cal case neck, just to give you an idea of the variety. Now I was definitely intent on getting a ball micrometer that would work with 223, since that's one of the cartridges that I load frequently. So let's take a look at this. We want to use the ratchet thimble where necessary. So we've got 12 thousandths, 11 and a half, 11 and a half essentially. Okay, so that's fairly consistent and we got a good reading off of that. Now for the 243, this is going to be a little thicker. Yeah, so 13 and a half, 13 and a half. This is Hornady brass. Okay, 14, 14, 13 and a half, a little over 14. So we're getting a fairly consistent uh, thickness from this Hornady 243 brass. Now for the 308, this is RP 308 win. Okay, so just a random from my clean brass pile. So here we've got almost 14, 14, 15. Let's double check that. 
Yep, just under 15, 14, 14. So we've got a full thousandth of an inch of variation. This would not be a good candidate for precision rifle. So there you go. It's that easy to use the tool. So there you have it. I hope you're convinced now that you need a ball micrometer. And if you do need one, check out the RCBS Vernier ball micrometer. More on this tool in subsequent videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the action on Ultimate Reloader, please subscribe to my channel. Until then, happy reloading.